veterans of what this stadium was named for. This historical marker contains the results of recent research into the names of those local citizens who died in World War I. Uh, the Columbus City Council authorized construction of Memorial Stadium in 1925 as a memorial for the local citizens who served and died during World War I. One of them was Charles Harrison, who is the namesake of American Legion Post 35 out on North Lumpkin Road. These boys have been dead at least 104 years, and it's not time to forget about them yet. In fact, I, I hope we never forget about them. Donna Kemp has a relative that was on the original plaque, and she wrote me and said, where'd the plaque go? Well, can't find the plaque. Uh, and some folks say there never was a plaque, so we'll have that argument forever. But whether there was or wasn't, uh, Mr. Thomas did come up with 43 names of citizens from Columbus who died during World War I. And I had two relatives, uh, two cousins of my great-grandfather who died, and, and Donna had her great-uncle to die. And so it sort of brought it home when you looked around the city and looked at the, the plaques at the churches and all, where they would have the names of all the men that served, and then there went an asterisk there, or two or three asterisks for those who died in the war. So you realize it affected everybody. And I wanted to make sure a plaque was back up that have the names of all of those from Muskogee County and Columbus who died during World War I. What a wonderful way to honor those men who served us during World War I. We forget how many are still overseas and will remain there forever.